Look, when, when someone tells you that you've got cancer, um, the reality hits home and you sort of hope and pray that this operation is going to go well. Um, you know, before surgery, you always worry, you know, what are the side effects going to be? The, the guys will always say, um, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm going for this operation for my prostate. What I hear about incontinence and I hear that there's no more sexual function um, after that. That is now the biggest concern. The guys aren't even scared of the cancer. And then, of course, uh, at a later stage, you also think of blood clots, you think of pain, um, depression. Will I see my son get married one day? You know, he's 15. Will I see him turn 30? Um, and so if you don't have the operation, you don't catch his cancer in time, you just go and die. I was in the hospital, I think, for about two days. Um, immediately after the operation, I, I didn't have any pain at all. But then again, it could have been the medication that they gave me. But one would expect some sort of pain to come through at a later stage. And I felt 100% as if I didn't even have an operation. The pain was so minimal. I've had a lot worse pain um, for minor things, whether it was a toothache, uh, a wisdom tooth coming out, breaking my wrist. In fact, there was no discomfort as far as pain was concerned at all. In hospital, I got up and I started walking around literally the next day. And that is the result of the robotic surgery. Everything can be so precise. They don't have to nick any kind of arteries or stuff like that. So I didn't have a blood transfusion at all. The one thing that I didn't expect was this catheter, which I had for seven days. I knew that it would be there, but I didn't realize that it would be uh, uncomfortable, you know. But when that catheter came out, um, you know, the doctor did say to me, they have this possibility of having incontinence. He says, go downstairs and have water, coffee, and so on. Make sure you get yourself the nappy at the, at the chemist. And I forget to get the nappy. I mean, this is not something I do habitually, you know. So I go and have coffee and I have water and I walk around and I suddenly feel that I need to go to the toilet. And I haven't got a nappy with me. A little bit sore, I think. And yes, it's building. So what I do, I hold it in. And I go to the loo and I start and I put pressure and I wee. And quarter way through, I decide I'm going to stop it. And I clamp three or four times during that whole time. And at the end, there wasn't a drop. Um, I go back to the doctor, often an hour, like he says, he goes, and how did it go? I said, look, I didn't buy the nappy. I went to the loo, I had a, a wee, and I stopped, and I went, and I stopped, and he still went like that. And I just looked at him and I smiled, he goes, all good. I could have come back to work after about day four, but my wife was very strict. The eighth day, I came back to work, but only for about an hour. And then she forced me to go back home again. And the reason for that was only because I'm in the habit of picking up every heavy things. And so with having no pain and no symptoms of, of this operation, I had no symptoms of pain or weakness or anything funny like that. And so we were just scared that in, 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 in not thinking, I would walk past either a big dumbbell or a, or a, or a weight somewhere or something and just pick up a, a trailer and put onto the bucky or something. You know, I believe that sometimes, I think God gives you one reason to die. Sometimes people get a heart attack, other people get prostate cancer, other people might die in an accident. My way was supposed to be prostate cancer and we've eliminated that. <clears throat> now that I think back of the choices that I would have had, there's chemotherapy, there's uh, the brachy beads, um, there's open surgery, there's robotic surgery, there's laparoscopy, all of that. If you qualify and have robotic surgery, if you're taking something the size of a walnut and you're probably making it this big on a screen and the doctor can see everything and he has total, total control, this operation was seriously successful. And so my expectations um, from before to now, this must be 500% better than I could ever have expected. I'm walking around as if nothing was wrong. I mean, you must understand, this happened five weeks ago. No complications. As man, as much man in every aspect as I was the day before I had the surgery, robotic surgery, 
I cannot see how anything else has got to be better than that. Of course, the right doctor.